And at number four tonight, the former owner of a dog that appeared to be tortured denies his pet was used as bait in dog fights. We first told you about Stormy last night as he received emergency care in Southfield. The shelter believed dozens of cuts may have been inflicted for the smell of blood and fights. The former owner denies that and blames the injuries on their other dogs. We attempted to take care of him, but we couldn't because it was money involved that we didn't have. But at the same time, we was looking for help for people to come help us, at least take the dog out of our home and help him and keep him alive. We didn't mean for all this to happen. We didn't mean for all this to hit social media. Well, now all of the dogs that were in their home have been removed. 